There we go. Yay. Uh, awesome. It works. Hi, Johanna. Hi, Leticia. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being here. You so know fun. what? I love, you know, today because we are so connected, you know, with WhatsApp, Messenger, we were able to fix it. So I I'm know in, in less than five minutes. That's amazing. So, oh, we've got people from, we've got Lori from Chicago. We've awesome. got Leticia Hello. from Tampa. We I have Lucy Lori. from London. We have Brussels. We've got Liv, uh, Joanna from France, Tampa, Florida. I'm really excited. You know, oh, it's this is amazing. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get started right at five after. So, like, just a few more seconds. Thank you. Hi, Louise. Vienna. Yeah. Florida. Boy, isn't that the truth? Johanna's from France. That's fantastic. Yes, everybody loves Farida. Everybody who meets her, she's a goddess. <laughs> you know, I, I encounter so many speakers all the time running the Speakers Bureau, people who say they're goddesses or warriors or spirit guides. And, you know, but you, Farida, really are. You are so special. And I'm so honored that you are with me today to share this information. Uh, for everybody who's in the room right now, I want you to know feel free to type in a, a question. It, there's an eight second delay. We'll answer just as quickly as possible. And I think we should get started. It's 10.05. We have so much information and my experience, I'll share everything with you and you'll see. Uh, but if you have any questions along the way, please just jump in, type in the chat bar, give me a minute to answer. And um, Farida, you can chime in too anytime you want, okay? <laughs> I like to start. I'm so glad the chat bar is open because we're starting off with a poll, which is what is your financial speaking goal? Uh, your financial goal for speaking when you want to speak. Hang on. I'm going to set up this poll here. Here we go. And you'll see you have the option. And all you have to do is click on um, one of these. Are you interested in supplementing your income? Do you want financial independence? Or <laughs> I love when that goes up 100%, boom, to establish your credibility as an expert in your field. Because that is really the goal for writing and speaking for most of us. Uh, I think if you're really, you know, there are industry experts who have regular careers wow. or jobs. But for most of us, I think we want to be the leading expert in our field. And we would like financial independence. We want to get paid for sharing our message and monetize our message. Okay, I'm gonna take the poll down. So if you haven't checked a box yet, we're at 50-50 now, financial independence. Oh, oh, look at this, establish my credit. Yeah, it's moving, <laughs> love it. The needle's moving. Anybody else wanna weigh in? There we go, oh, look oh. at that. We have a lot of experts. I can't wait to hear what kind of experts you are. Okay, I'm ending the poll. We're gonna go back to the chat bar. And um, keep going here because I have, I want, you know, we're going to go just over an hour, but I want to tell you, be, it's because when I look at it and I go, what can I cut out of this? What can I do to shorten it, get in under an hour? I hate to do that because this is free. I want to share the information with you. So I hope you have the time to spend with us. I want to ask you to start. Imagine earning $5,000, $10,000, or even $25,000 for a one hour presentation. I can tell you it's possible. I've booked speakers for more than $30,000. Hi, Austin. I'm so glad you're here and ready to learn. I have booked speakers for more than $30,000 an hour. And I'm telling you, you can do this. You can become a speaker and I don't want you to struggle at it. If you've been a speaker for a few years and you're not earning six figures, this is for you. If you're just starting out, this is for you. It was made for you. If you have an important message to share, you want to distinguish yourself from the crowded field of general speakers, which is very crowded. And so you have to find the way to market yourself as an expert. You want to become the leading expert in your field. And didn't we have a majority on that, Farida, where most of our guests today want to become the leading expert in their field? So this Yeah, is definitely. And um, it, it can be in the business, but also, you know, uh, I have leaders of nonprofit organizations, uh, people who have uh, created foundations. So it's not only um, sharing your message Motivational to money, but also to be able right. to raise money for your charity. 
Absolutely. So you want to earn thousands every time you speak, whether it's for you or for a nonprofit or a charity and you, and have high recurring income. You want to influence and help others and fulfill your potential. You're here because you're special. You know you have a message to share and I want to help you fulfill that potential. You want to discover how the speaking industry really works and you're ready to start getting paid to speak. Isn't that wonderful? It's not for you. And don't feel bad if this is you. It's not for you. If you really don't want to leverage your passion, your experience, or your message to earn an incredible income and lifestyle, or you're happy speaking for free, it's a fun hobby for you. You feel like, you know, I love the point you made, Farida, that if you are running a nonprofit, you need to know how to speak to raise money. It's so important. But there are so many people who just really like to be you know, in the front of the room, sharing their message. They're not, they're not looking at it as a business. They're not looking at it to raise money or earn money. They're just, they just enjoy speaking. And, you know, like a lot of Toastmasters and um, people, I guess, in NSA or who are just in, in the community, they right. just want to get up and share. So this is not for them. This is for people who really want to make a difference. Speaking is one of the highest paid professions today. There I am at Meeting Professionals International in Edmonton, Canada. And it was a wonderful group because it was meeting professionals. These are I was speaking to a room full of people who book speakers. And I always promote the Bureau everywhere I go and share my messages as well. Imagine earning a check. Look at this, $10,000. It's possible. You can do it. And I'm not showing this to you to brag. I'm showing it to you to inspire you. It's possible that you can get checks like this too. So think, what do you want to earn from speaking? If you downloaded your action guide, and if you haven't yet, the link is, well, let me enter it again because we've gotten, it was in the chat bar went down a little bit, but it's. Um, Let me do it. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can do it. Thank you. Just enter the lvcsb.com forward slash is dash action guide. And there's a sticky chat at the top of the chat bar that you can do. If you haven't downloaded your action guide yet, thank you, Farida. Please go ahead and do so now because I want to, I want you to ask yourself these questions. This isn't for me. This is for you. Um, you never know where you're going <laughs> unless you decide where you're going to go. And this is to help you look at where you are, where you want to be, and how you're going to get there. So the first question, if you've already been a speaker, now if you're just starting out, of course, you probably haven't been paid to speak yet. But if you've been speaking for any length of time, I want to know what is the top fee you've earned this past year in 2017? And if you're speaking to raise money for a nonprofit, you know, what's the most you've earned at a speaking engagement? So what is your top fee for 2017? And then the next question is, what do you want to earn? What do you want your top fee to be for 2018, this new year that we're in? And be bold. I've had people say 50,000. I've had people say, you know, 150,000, 250,000. So it's all realistic. Now ask yourself, what has been your average fee? last year. I have this year. I'm sorry. Uh, what was your average fee this past year in 2017? And you know what to figure that out. If you spoke five times for $10,000 and five times for free, then your average is not 50 is not 50 uh, $10,000. Your average fee is $5,000. So it's half you have to fill it, figure in those non paid speaking engagements. And then ask yourself, what do you want your average fee to be next year? Taking non-paid speaking engagements, once you understand insider secrets, you can make more money with those than just about anything. Yes, sharing the link to download. It's right there in the chat bar, Louise, lvcsb.com slash is dash action guide. You click on that, it'll take you right to the site and just click print on the action guide and you'll have it right there. Okay. Now, here's the question. How much will you earn? or I'm sorry, how much did you earn in 2017 and how much do you want to earn in 2018? And be bold, put down what you want. What did you earn in 2017 and what do you want to earn in 2018? And then let me ask you this last question. What is the gap and are you ready to close it? Because if you want 
if say this year you made twenty thousand dollars from speaking, and next year you want to make eighty or a hundred thousand dollars from speaking, then the gap is eighty thousand dollars. So, are you ready to close it? And what is it worth it? What is it worth to you to close that gap? Is it worth twenty percent? Is it worth twenty thousand dollars? You know, the Speakers Bureau takes 25% of anything I book. So if I book a speaker for uh, $20,000, the Speakers Bureau gets 5000 So, and I tell my people, if anybody, if you want to book me, I will give you 25% of my fee because I wouldn't have that gig without you and without your help. So the reason why I have this slide in here is really to help you see where you are, where you want to get to, because I can tell you how to do that. I can help you do this, okay? Here's the truth. Often, in spite of standing ovations and tremendous accolades, you're the best speaker we've ever heard. Most speakers don't earn enough money to put gas in their car to get home. They never discover how to monetize their speaking careers. Let's find out why. I love this slide. You would never try to fly an airplane without first taking flying lessons, would you? Have you ever Not seen the cockpit? Of, <laughs> right? Have you ever seen the cockpit of a jumbo jetliner? Like, there's no button that says take off or land. It's a ton of buttons, hundreds of buttons yeah. and flips and switches and and uh, equipment. You wouldn't even know where to begin, right? Exactly. And it's for every kind of business. You know, it's not only for speaking, but w even when you want to start your own business, you need to learn from the people right. who have been there. Right. And yet you see here, we have people become speakers and authors every day. And I think it's innocent enough. I think, you know, because we're writing and speaking from the time we're toddlers, we grow up and we think, well, I can speak, I can write, I can become a professional speaker and I can write a book. And this mm -hmm. is actually the start of the problem, because if you don't understand that this is a business, this is an industry, and depending on your goals for that, you really need to understand how that industry works the same way that you would take flying lessons before trying to fly, fly an airplane. So over the next hour, I'm going to show you how the speaking industry works. I'm going to share the biggest mistakes that speakers make, why most speaker training fails, the three different types of speakers. Did you know there were three different types? <laughs> <laughs> I learned from you. <laughs> yes, what every speaker should know before struggling one more day. I'm going to share insider secrets, turning six figures as a speaker and how you can make more money in one day than you ever thought possible. I've done it. And believe me, I always say through this program, if I could do it, anybody could do it. And how to set your speaking career on fire. You're about to discover incredible secrets and insights about the speaking industry that took me nearly 10 years and about a quarter of a million dollars to learn. Now, that may seem really ridiculous, but I hear from so many speakers who have bought this program or that training program or uh, retreats and $10,000 here and $10,000 there. And then you built a website and it wasn't right. And, you know, I'll tell you, it adds up really fast. I spent more than $6,000 on my first demo video. Wow. And way less than that on my second demo video. And I, my first demo video wasn't a video that would even get me booked. So when Heck. you think about this and you spend the money on the retreats and the getaways and everything else, you can spend so much trying to learn how to become a successful speaker. And I think launching the Bureau and running that started back in 2006. And I've been running it ever since. So I have this amazing perspective from like 30,000 feet looking down at the industry that gives me a unique perspective to help you really fast forward your career. If I can do it, so can you. This was an event where I spoke for free. I'm gonna talk about it in a few minutes and I made more than $6,000 speaking for free for 20 minutes to 50 people, okay? And stay tuned, I have a mind-blowing opportunity for just a few speakers at the end of the program. You could be one of them. I'm going to start with this little tip, insider secrets tip number one. You have to establish your credibility whenever you speak. I know when I go to a luncheon, have you ever seen this, Farida, where you're at a luncheon and the speaker, or maybe you're the speaker there, and nobody's talking to you, you're sitting alone at a table and nobody's coming up to you, and then you yeah. speak and you share your dramatic story, and now you have a line of 25, 50 people who all want to just say hi or, or have you sign a movie to them or you know talk to you or ask you a question because now they know who you are. So mm. if that's what you're 
introduction or your bio does for you. So you have to establish your credibility. Why should people listen to you? Why should they buy your book or your movie? Why should they hire you as a coach? Right? They don't. That's if so they, important. It's so important. So let me start by sharing my credentials, why I can help you. In 2006, I founded the Las Vegas Convention Speakers Bureau in the convention capital of North America. Uh, Las Vegas, everybody wants to come to Las Vegas. It's fantastic. And look at this. Las Vegas has more than 11 million square feet of meeting space, which is just insane. Uh, and many of those meetings require motivational speakers, kickoff keynotes, closing keynotes, lunchtime keynotes, breakout speakers. It's really, I, I launched the Bureau naively, somewhat naively. I was like, if I'm not right, because I started as a speaker, I'm like, if I'm not right for your gig, let me find you someone who is. Well, it's gotten a life of its own. So as president and founder of the Las Vegas Convention Speakers Bureau, today I get to work with those iconic speakers that I used to only see on TV or read their books like Jack Canfield, Les Brown, Marcy Shimoff, Captain Jim Lovell from Apollo 13, he's flown in space, and Brian Tracy, wow. who's just amazing. And uh, I regularly book speakers for keynote presentations and breakout sessions. This is just uh, what I do when I'm not making movies. <laughs> Or while I'm making movies, I started out as an author and a speaker. My first book you can see is The Art of the Business Lunch, Building Relationships Between 12 and 2. It's actually a sales book. And then I contributed to Chicken Soup for the Soul, for the Wine Lover's Soul. I've contributed to anthologies. And then I published The Power of the Platform with Jack Canfield, Brian Tracy, and Les Brown. And I had the pleasure of being interviewed by all these international media outlets, the London Financial Times. Who do we have from London again? Um, Lucy. Yeah, so you know the Financial Times, I'm sure, and uh, the Canadian Globe and Mail, Rediff.com in India, you know, the BBC, all over the world, I got to do interviews and understand how the media and publicity machine works. And most recently, I've made movies. I'm in production on my third movie, Becoming the Keys, and lovely hey. Farida is in <laughs> The Secrets of the Keys. Wasn't that a great experience? Oh, definitely. And, you know, you were talking about credibility, just you know, have been able to do this movie, just launch also my career to establish myself as a credible expert and business coach and life coach as well. So thank you. It and it gives speaking. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Speaking when people start to seeing you on stage, sharing stage with power people like Brian Tracy, Michael Beckwith, Don Miguel Ruiz, you have no idea. You know, I love this, how you used to say success by association, because now they are used to see you with successful people. So you start to be successful for them and now they can reach you and ask for help. So it's really, really important. Exactly. And they, most people don't understand you're in a movie with these stars, these big names, or in a book with these big names, and they don't understand that, you know, they think you're having breakfast with Brian Tracy every day. You get that association. You get to meet him. You got to meet him at the VIP red carpet premiere, uh, which was such a treat. And we got to watch him film his segment. It was, it was just so incredible. But this gives the success by association. So this is why we do these things. It's all marketing gold, right? Yeah. And even when I remember it was here in Paris, um, I was asked to speak at, at an event. And who was sharing the stage with me? The grandson of Nelson Mandela. I was like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> and you got a picture, I hope? Of course. <laughs> okay, well, let's move forward. I want to, you know, if you look at your action guide and you've entered, you know, your credibility, why should people listen to you, buy your book and so on, and then a little bit about Las Vegas. Next up is the three mistakes most speakers have, and you want to make sure that you fill in these blanks here on your, on your um, action guide. Most speakers make every mistake in the book, and I can tell you I did in the beginning as well. I, I listened to the wrong people. I got bad advice. I didn't know who had the good advice for me. You know, I, I talked to some successful people and for some reason, you know, they're not excited to share their secrets with you. And as a bureau president, I have no problem sharing the secrets because I don't want to see you struggle. The top three mistakes, number one, they don't understand how the speaking industry works. They rely on fee-based gigs. I'll get into what that is in just a moment. They create and try to sell the wrong products. And I see this all the time. I see speakers 
oh my goodness, they're trying to create just products that are not going to serve them or make them money. And then they don't understand how really easy it is to stop speaking for free and start getting paid to speak. And if you've struggled for any length of time, uh, this, you know, then you understand you think it's hard to make money because you haven't been able to do it yet. So we'll get into these in more detail. Success as a speaker is not just about being a great presenter, having a great story, a wonderful stage presence. It's really about understanding how the business works. Of course, being a great presenter helps too. I've uncovered some very serious problems. And, you know, some of these I discovered as a speaker, in my capacity as a speaker and an author, and some really only since I've had the Bureau. First is most speaker training programs fail to address how the speaking industry actually works. You'll go to a training program and they'll have maybe 10 different speakers, maybe more or less, and they get up there and they share their experience, but it really doesn't tell you how to make more money as a speaker, okay? And I see them all the time. I hear from people that spent 10 or $20,000 to attend an event. They got inspired, they got motivated, but they still don't know how to make more money for their own program. You can have an amazing program yourself and still struggle to make ends meet. Like I said, when people come up to you and they say, oh my God, you're the best speaker we've ever heard. And I'm like, oh, would you like to buy my book or my movie? And they go, oh no, I'll get it later. And it, it's terrible when you're struggling like that. There, You don't have to. I have learned how to get around that. Okay, one of the other big problems is that speaking is a very crowded field. It's an unregulated industry in the United States. And so industry experts are also willing to speak for free. And one of the newest trends in big conferences and conventions, I don't know if you've experienced this, Farida, but meeting planners will come to a speaker and say, we will comp you into the event. So you get to go to the exhibit hall and you get to attend all the other courses if you'll do a keynote for us or a breakout session. Have you had anyone yeah. approach you with that? Yeah. Yeah, they don't wanna pay you. They don't yeah. wanna pay you money. They're going to save you the registration fee, whether it's $295 or $1,495 or $2,495. They're going to trade you admission to the event in exchange for speaking. And industry experts love this. My dad's an optometrist and he would go to Vision Expo and yeah. I'll be so happy to speak for free and wear that speaker badge and have people talk to him. But if you're making your living, from speaking or you're raising money for a nonprofit or you know your bottom line is dependent on getting paid to speak this doesn't help you at all right yeah Plus, there's so, not. <laughs> so many speakers on the same topic you know i did the art of the business lunch and even though it's a sales book because of the title people expect me to come and speak on networking which i love to speak on and uh Etiquette, which I always joke, if you've ever seen me eat, that's hilarious. <laughs> but I had to learn how to speak on etiquette because I was getting requests for it. But if I'm speaking on the art of the business lunch, I'm the queen of the business lunch. I trademark that. I'm the only one who will tell you how to use mealtime to improve your sales and make more money. But if I'm speaking again on networking, I'm going up against thousands of speakers who speak on networking. Yes. And so you have a very crowded field. So the question becomes, how can you and your message stand out so that you can achieve financial freedom and get paid and define yourself as an expert? So let's talk about financial freedom quickly here. Uh, what does it mean to you? Is it having all the money you want? Farida, if you had all the money you want, would you have financial freedom? Definitely. <laughs> well, it could be halfway there because the other half is having the free time to enjoy it, right? Exactly. That's having right. one without the other is useless. Otherwise, you're just a workaholic or you're unemployed and you have no money, right? So mm. that's financial freedom. So in my first movie, this is so cute, Jack Canfield said, when your vocation feels like a vacation, you have arrived. When you have mm -hmm. the money to do whatever you want, whenever you want to do it. And that's what we're all going for. So imagine your dream can come true. You can achieve financial freedom as a speaker. You just need to take the time to understand how the industry works to discover the keys to achieving all you want. So let me do another poll right here because I'm really curious about um, 
your motivation, everybody in the room. Uh, I want to know here. Let's do this real quick. Yeah, and, and, and when you do the poll, it's really, um, it's so important really to know how things work. Yes. Because otherwise we are we are wasting so much time and we are exhausted. And you know, <laughs> I, I can so much relate to everything you you have shared because at the beginning, just people loved my messages. You know, they were oh, you are a great speaker. It was great to hear your story, but I was not able to sell anything. It was like, yeah, okay, I'm great, but I still need to pay my bills. Exactly. And when I I learned really how to position myself, so I was still sharing my stories but you know with really a system knowing how to position your message your credibility everything has shifted you know because now people are coming to me saying how I can work with you it's not about you are just inspiring okay you know I want what you are doing now how I can work with you and right. that has completely changed so uh, it's really really important as you say don't try yes. to learn to to fly your plane by yourself <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> right. the hey look at these poll results uh oh oh and they they keep changing what a passionate group we have today <laughs> people want to work on something they're passionate about they want to travel more but let me tell you what if working on your passion involves more travel then you're really enjoying financial freedom as a speaker. That's okay. why we are doing, by the way. And enjoying life more. Okay, yes. so I'm going to end the poll and uh, reset it here and go That's back. That's what I'm that doing part. now because I'm bringing some of my clients to Las Vegas uh, in a couple weeks. And, you know, it's going to be a business and pleasure. And that's really amazing, you know, to be able yes. to do what you You get want. to travel, which you love to do. Yes. You're engaged in your passion, which is personal development and business exactly. coaching, leadership coaching, self-leadership coaching. And you get to be with 8,000 like-minded people in a room. That's like so exhilarating. <laughs> if you've never been in a room with so many people. Oh, Milen, am I saying your name right? Milen Paul? Thank you so much for the accolades as we go. I really appreciate it. It's We want to open your eyes to see that the the dream is there for you. You just have to have the, the map to get there. And that's what we're doing, the path. So when we talk about most speaker training, I mentioned before that most speaker training really lets you down. And it, some of it is very expensive, right? Mm. Uh, they do, they're not about how to monetize your speaking career. In fact, at a typical speaker training event, you'll have a program with a bunch of speakers about things that sound very interesting, like how to do your own recordings, how to understand your positioning, how to package your products, social media, how to be, how to perform in interviews, maybe even what color to wear on stage, um, how to get booked by colleges or women's groups, and then a host to help you tie it all together and see the possibilities for just $9,995. And I can tell you from running the bureau, I hear from speakers all the time that they have invested, you know, $50,000 or hired coaches or trainers. It doesn't work. So look at the questions in your uh, action guide right here. I have a little note to myself here in blue um, to remind you to look at your action guide. Have you had professional speaker training before? And this is for your own benefit. Did previous training share how to monetize your speaking? And how would you evaluate it on a scale of one to five? It's Ineffective is one and fabulous is five. This is just so you can see because most speakers that I talk to spend a ton of money on training, but it really doesn't show them how to monetize their message and achieve that financial freedom, which I know you can achieve. Okay. So and it's really so funny because when I see that, it's exactly the same in the business area. I have a client, she spent over, I don't remember, over 80,000. Wow. In training, coaching, but it wasn't the wrong information. So right. it's not about having information. It's about having the right information that help you make more money. Otherwise, it's not necessary, it's I, especially okay. at the beginning. So it, it's really similar, you know, if you are growing your, your business or your speaking career. So that's why, you know, I was very excited to do this webinar with you today. Uh, thank you so much. All right, moving forward, let's look more closely at those top three mistakes. The first one you may remember is not understanding how the speaking industry works. 
or how easy it is to earn six figures from speaking. That's how I like to focus on the positive, right? Most speakers rely on fee-based speaking engagements. Now, a fee-based gig is uh, if, if I call you and I say, Farida, I have a client, their budget is only $3,500, even though your fee is $10,000, would you be willing to accept it? You're letting me determine how much you're going to earn. So if you're free and it's last minute and you want to pick up $3,500, okay, great. But if you're listed with bureaus everywhere and being listed with a bureau is part of a successful speaker strategy, okay? You can't just rely on this because when I do a, present, a, a proposal for a client, they want to see three or four speakers. They mm. want to know who can do this. Um, and I might, in fact, I had this last week. I had someone contact me. They wanted a social media speaker, search engine optimization. I have the most perfect speaker, but you know what? His demo video doesn't support that content because he speaks on more than one subject and I can't get him booked. She wants other people. And I know this one speaker is perfect for what she wants. So when you rely just on speakers bureaus to book you or fee-based gigs, meeting planners to call you, you're going to struggle. It's a successful part of a successful strategy, but you can't just rely on it because especially with speakers bureaus, they'll say, don't call us, we'll call you. Mm. I hear from struggling speakers every week. That's why I created Insider Secrets because I thought, oh my goodness, speakers just don't understand how the industry works. So we talk about your platform. This is how you get booked. Along with being listed with as many speakers bureaus as you can, you have to have a great platform. So what is your platform? It's your accomplishments. What can people say about you? Remember when I shared my credentials? There's a reason why I do that. I'm the president and founder of a speakers bureau. I started out as an author and a speaker, and then I started making movies, and I've contributed to other anthologies. I want you to know that I've done this. I've walked in your shoes. I did this, and I struggled, and I learned the right way. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Why, why struggle? You know, you not, you need a platform that says, this is what you've done. Like you said before, Farida, you're in a movie with Brian Tracy and Miguel Ruiz and Michael Beckwith and all these amazing internationally recognized experts. What does that say about you? That says you're very successful. So you want to share those accomplishments and what your platform will mean to your career as a speaker is the better your platform, the higher elevated your platform is, the more successful you are, the more successful you'll continue to become. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying this. Thank you for weighing in, Austin. Okay, here I am the queen of the business lunch. The art, I wrote the art of the business lunch. This is what I call setting yourself on fire. Have you Googled yourself? You know, <laughs> do you come up? The first listing is my book on Amazon. The second listing is my speaker website. I know it's a little hard to see because I wanted to get as many. I wanted all of page one because I was everything on page one. There's an abstract of my book. There's a video of me doing the art of the business lunch on, on stage. There I am with it at a speaker's bureau. And if you do this, bureaus and meeting planners can find you. Now, when I get a request for a speaker and I have someone, that's great. I go through my bureau listings first, but if I need someone and I don't have them in the bureau, I go to Google and I look for them. And sometimes I'll ask myself, why isn't my client just doing this? <laughs> you know, but yeah. of course, then, they, then they wouldn't need me. But if I need like a futurist speaker or a leadership speaker, business leadership speaker, then I do my homework. I go on Google. I see who comes up. You have to come up on page one or at least page two and make it so I can find you. And that's why there's this entirely comprehensive strategy that you need to implement to have that kind of success as a speaker. Now, I even set the Las Vegas Convention Speakers Bureau on fire. You see the first three listings. Well, the first listing is an ad for our Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. That's what the LVCBA stands for. Um, and I'm not worried about it because if you look at the last listing, I'm listed with them. I'm listed with the Convention of Visitors Authority. So there's my listing with them. So they're the first one with an ad and the first organic listing is my speakers bureau. The second organic listing is my featured speaker page. And then the third organic listing is again, Vegas Means Business, which is the Las Vegas Convention of Visitors Authority. So this is why being listed on the LVCSB 
Vegas.com website is so powerful because when someone's looking for Las Vegas convention speakers, they're finding me. They're finding the LVCVA, which is me, and they're finding the LVCSB, which is me. So that's what you want. Any questions so far? And you know, it's so like funny because I, I never thought about the power of Google. Someone wanted to do business with me, and so they tried, they Googled my name, and then he said, you are everywhere. I could see your name, your pictures, your video. Hey. So it established my credibility in his mind, but I didn't know what I was doing. So, you know, those information are just so valuable because you don't need to have uh, that many followers and things to establish your credibility the right way. So what you are sharing, it's very, very important. Thank you. It is. I just posted a poll. I wasn't going to do it, but since you're talking about this, have you ever Googled yourself? Yes, and the results were impressive. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yes, but my name or profile didn't come up or no, not yet. So, so far we're at 50-50 between results were impressive or no, not yet. So I know as soon as you leave here, you're going to Google yourself. And, you know, I can Google Robin J. Now think about my name. A Robin is a bird. A, uh, a J is a blue J. So Robin J, <laughs> two birds, you know, I've got a million other things that I could come up for. I know every time Jay-Z or Robin Thicke perform together, I get a Google <laughs> alert. <laughs> And I know that they're busy, right? So anyway, okay, so we've got a, a nice mix. 50% of you, oh, 60% had impressive results. 20%, oh, look at this, it's changing. 33% no, not yet. 17% yes, but my name or profile didn't come up. Okay, so you know this is something you need to work on. And the way you do it is by having the good search engine optimization, posting a lot, promoting yourself, writing a blog, sending press releases. It's all part of a strategy that that I can help show you how to do this. It's not hard. Two beautiful birds. You're so sweet, Letitia. Thank you. Okay, so back to the program. Are you having fun? I think this information is just so amazing. And you know, it took me a year to put this program together uh, because I really wanted it to be so comprehensive and help you. And even just the free webinar uh, should change your perspective and perception about the industry. Good. Okay. Speakers create and try to sell the wrong products for the wrong reasons. You need to reverse engineer your products. You need to start with the end in mind. Building tremendous products to sell is not important. It's mandatory if you're going to make six figures as a speaker. And the good news is these can cost next to nothing to create. And I can show you how. You have to have a reason for creating your product. You have to create a product because there's such a demand for it and then share the reason why you created it. For instance, I created this webinar because there was such demand from speakers who want to be listed with the Las Vegas Convention Speakers Bureau. These are some real examples from my inbox and you don't have to read them all, but I get a lot of emails from doctors who speak at industry events as industry experts and they, um, I just hear from a lot of doctors. They want to be professional speakers. Oh, I love this. Start with the end in mind, Louise says. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Go for Rita. Okay. They'll say, send us an application. I'd like to be an official speaker for your organization. Here's a big mistake. Speakers say they have a broad range of subjects to choose from. You want to be an expert in one subject. So think about me. I have, uh, I'm the queen of the business lunch. I can tell you how to make mealtime productive and sell more but I also speak on networking and I also speak on etiquette and I speak on personality profiles and so on. I have a, I've done team building. I have a lot of things that I can do, but when I promote myself, I promote myself as the queen of the business lunch. So you really want that narrower field. So you have to determine what is your expertise. You will never succeed being all things to all people. So speakers looking for more opportunities and on and on and on. And I get these you know, I created this course one day. I think I got three or four emails from speakers who wanted to be listed with the Bureau in one day. And I went, oh, my gosh, speakers just don't understand how the industry works. I need to help them. And here you have insider secrets. So to create an awesome product, all you have to do is make it something people need, something people want, something you know a lot about, starting with maybe a book or another product of great value. Now, you want to talk about books? This is so important. And yes, books only sell for $15 or $20, and they cost you $10 if you sell them. 
But let's look at this. This was on the red carpet of my first movie. You probably recognize Jack Canfield, Marcy Shimoff, John Gray. Jack did Chicken Soup for the Soul and The Success Principles. Marcy did Happy for No Reason, Chicken Soup for the Woman's Soul. She's the reason Chicken Soup is a series. She did Chicken Soup for the Soul, Chicken Soup for the Woman's Soul, Chicken Soup for the Mother's Soul. And then John Gray, who did Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, which has become like a pop culture phenomenon. So let's look at these super successful speakers. They're earning more than most speakers working today. And you know what? They all started out with a book. Books can make you rich, not necessarily selling books in the back of the room, but by defining yourself as an expert. So if you were one of the attendees today who checked the box that you want to define yourself as an expert in your field, this is the way to start by having a book. Look at Jack did Chicken Soup for the Soul and the Success Principles. Now, today, you can go spend five days with Jack at his home in Maui for about $25,000. But he limits it to 10 people. So do the math. I mean, that's like crazy money. Better than getting paid for a keynote, right? And then um, Marcy Shimoff did the chicken soup. She's the reason it's a series. And then John Gray did Men Are From Mars. These people all do their own events. They, they have huge opportunities. Uh, one of my speakers went to Italy, to the Tuscan hillside, to spend four days with Jack and his team. And I believe he paid $15,000 plus travel and expenses to go do that. So Jack is making, I think he said 20 people were there. Can you do the math? What is that? $300,000 yeah. for four days? Would they be there if they didn't have a book? So the mm -hmm. book, you know, my Art of the Business Lunch book defines me as the queen of the business lunch. Is it something I grew up wanting to be? No. <laughs> I fell into it because I hosted more client lunches than anybody I knew, and I wrote the book about it. So you take your expertise, you put it in a book. The book helps you to define yourself as an expert and help you to monetize it. Jeff Walker wrote a book called Launch, and he said, no matter what you want to learn, someone else has spent a life studying it. Learn from them. We yeah. don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. That's why I really love this message. St learn from them. You, you know, If you find the right teacher, the right helper, you can really save time, tens of thousands of dollars, and get where you want to go. So you can weigh in on the chat bar if you want to, but this question is really for you. Are you where you think you should be at this point? Of course, if you're just starting out, sure. But if you've been at it for a while, are you there? And if not, are you ready to start earning what you think you're worth and not what someone else has determined and start living your dream? You can just type yes in the chat bar if you're on board with this, okay? If you're ready to change your game, let's really get into some meat. I can't believe how fast this is going. Can you, Farida? I know I'm talking yeah, really fast. Yeah, I was ticking the clock as well. I was like, what? I know. It's like, oh my gosh, we have so much more to share. And so I I'm taking notes. Fast. You know, I know this, is, but I'm still taking notes. And that's why it's so important that, you know, repetition is the key to success. Yes. It's the key to success. And you never know, you can come up with new information, new ideas. So I hope you are all taking notes because you have gold right now. You have no idea. <laughs> yes. And you know what, too? There will be a replay link. You'll get an email in about two hours after the webinar or or you can email me uh, and you can find this on my YouTube page and watch it again if you want. So um, it's all recorded automatically through Webinar Jam and YouTube. So. I love this. Oh, such passion. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> I love to hear that. And I hope you all, when you speak about what you love, time does not exist. I feel the same. We both looked up at the clock, right, Farida? We're like 45 <laughs> minutes in. What, how is this? I feel like we've been at this for 10 minutes, actually. Okay, so this is a big game changer. There are three types of speakers. When I learned this, I got goosebumps just now. When I learned this information, when I uh, was at my Millionaire Speaker Boot Camp, the first time learning that information, I turned to my friend. She was a speaker, a real hardworking trainer. And she turned to me and said, where has this been? Where has this information been? I'd been at it three or four years. And she'd been speaking for more than 10 years as a trainer, making $500 a day, working, standing in high heels in the front of the room. There are three types of speakers, and this is going to blow your mind. General, public, 
and paid. Now, most of us say we're public speakers because we're speaking in front of the public, but that's not really true. General speakers, let's look at the different types. General speakers include the more than 18,000 speakers listed with all the speakers bureaus. It's every Toastmaster in the world, uh, which is tens of thousands around the world. They're talented, they teach, they entertain and motivate. They include industry experts, those guys who will speak for free, who have spoiled all the meeting planners and so they don't wanna pay regular speakers. And then specialists, and the reason why I have specialists in blue is so I remember to tell you that as you determine your brand, you never want to be a specialist. <laughs> this is, I changed oh that. <laughs> I, I cannot believe this, but you want to be an expert. You know why? Because the word specialist contains the word Cialis in it. Now, Cialis is an erectile dysfunction drug. Okay. And they get bounced by spam filters everywhere. So if I send you an email and I go, hi, this is Robin Jay, the business relationship specialist, there's a good chance you're never going to see my email because your spam filter is going to catch it because it sees Cialis. You get spam email and you see it has asterisks or the words are misspelled. That's to try and trick the spam filters. So you never want to be a specialist. I don't know anyone else who's going to give you that little tip. Okay. So always be an expert. General speakers will speak for whatever they can get, whenever they can get it. They'll often speak for free. Yes, it's very funny. They'll often speak for free and to any size audience. I have to tell you, when I started speaking, I had a lot of friends in business in Las Vegas, and they would say, would you come and speak to our sales team? And I would go speak in their conference room to five or six people. I worked as hard as I do when I'm making $10,000 speaking. It's I'm schlepping my, sometimes I have to bring my own screen and my projector and my laptop and my books to sell afterwards. And, and maybe I wasn't getting paid. Maybe they were giving me $500. Oh my God, it's so much work to be a general speaker. You hope to sell product in the back of the room, but you usually don't. Um, this is why I tell all my speakers, I say, never sell just one book, sell 10 of them. Say, hey, listen, graduation season's coming up. These make great gifts for grads or Valentine's Day or whatever. You want to share your products. You want to sell 10 at a time always. General speakers hope to land that big 10 to $20,000 keynote. And I would love to show you some pictures of some general speakers, but I wouldn't embarrass them. Okay. Occasionally, a general speaker will get hot. They have the right message at the right time, maybe a TV show or a viral video. Someone like Larry Wingett is a $25,000 speaker. He's the pit bull of personal development. He had a TV show on A&E called Big Spender. He's a financial guru. He ends up getting on uh, the major networks as a financial consultant. Judson Lapley did a little video. It was the first viral video. It was called The Evolution of Dance. What happens is they get to raise their fee. They get booked a lot. I called Jason, Judson Lapley as soon as I saw his video. When I found out he was a motivational speaker, his fee was $3,000. He was getting ready to go on the Today Show in uh, New York City. And I said, Judson, you're not charging enough. You have a viral video. We didn't even know what a viral video was at the time. <laughs> I called him a few months later to try and book him. His fee was now $12,000. And he was booked from orientation at college, which is like mid-August, till Christmas. He could not find two days to come out to Las Vegas and speak for my client. So, but the problem is viral videos and these exciting right message at the right time TV shows, they don't, they're hard to manufacture. They're, you know, they really just happen if they're really good. And the catch 22, like I said, a bureau will want to book you once you no longer need them to. I called to try and book Judson. I didn't, he, he did not need me to call him. Okay. All right. Public speakers. Now, public speakers are famous, well-known people, movie stars and, and athletes and so on. Uh, people on TV, they always keynote. They might throw in a breakout session, but they usually keynote. They earn between fifteen and $100,000 per keynote. Their average audience size is 500 to 20,000 people. They use the platform to educate, entertain, and motivate the audience. So let's look at who some public speakers are, okay? Politicos, like this is Rudy Giuliani, the former mayor of New York City. His name got really well known after 9-11. Mark Spitz was the first Olympian to win seven gold medals in a sim single Olympiad. 
Goldie Hawn, retired actress, kind of retired. You know, those leading lady roles dry up. How else is she going to pay her bills? And everybody has bills they want to pay. So um, this is a wonderful picture. John Hamm on the left and and uh, J.B. Bernstein on the right. John Hamm played J.B. Bernstein in the movie Million Dollar Arm, a huge success for yeah. Disney, global success. J.B. Oh. lives here in Las Vegas. He's my friend. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we my know. goodness. That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> I got to hear him speak and and um, he's on the road all the time. But he went from being a general speaker or an industry expert because he, he's a sports agent to becoming a public speaker because people know the movie. They know John Hamm. Then they know the character of J.B. Bernstein, who John played in the movie. Michio Kaku is a physicist. He's on the Science Channel with his own show. He guest stars every time there's an earthquake or a natural disaster or a blue moon or whatever. You'll see Michio Kaku on CBS this morning or whatever. And then Jack Canfield, my friend, is a public speaker because people know Chicken Soup for the Soul. Now, are you ready for this? Paid speakers. They're happy to speak for free. That doesn't even make sense, does it? <laughs> but you know they have the right products. They know they're going to make a good payday for themselves. They might even pay you to speak. I get calls from paid speakers all the time that if I could book them, they will give me, I can keep the fee. And there's certain parameters, like they want to entertain the night before and then do the morning keynotes, do things like this, or they'll split the room take with me. They base their presentation, and this is a huge game changer, on science and psychology. This is the first I'm introducing of this. This is a huge game changer when you present, when you really want to make money. They'll split the take for the room or sale, sometimes as much as 50-50. They use the platform to sell what they teach. Whoopsie, I didn't mean to do that. This is really key. They use the platform to sell what they teach. Think about this. I can share a lot with you in this webinar but I can't do everything I need to do for you in this time, but I'm trying to do everything I can with the limited time. But paid speakers use the platform to sell what they teach. Here's an example. The most successful paid speaker, Tony Robbins. We all know who he is, and I love to put it this way. Tony Robbins is not sitting around waiting for a speaker's bureau to call him and book him, is he? No. no. <laughs> I can show you what he's doing that's different from everybody else. Deepak Chopra. Tony crushes Deepak. Tony's making about 400 million a year. Deepak's making 40 million. Brendan Burchard is making 40 or 50 million a year, creating the products that people want. Marsha Weeder, you probably never heard of her. She's America's dream coach. She's been on yeah, Oprah. Okay, she makes about a half a million dollars any given year, maybe a million. She's probably a seven figure speaker. Marcy Shimoff, another one I talk to, uh, I talk about, and there's my friend Jack Canfield, who's a paid speaker. Because listen, if he's got ten people, each giving him twenty five thousand dollars to come and spend four days with him in Maui, and the next month he's in Tuscany, and the next month he's in Mexico or wherever he goes, and people are paying to be with him, and he has train the trainer and coach the coach and everything else, these are paid speakers. This is such a paradigm shift. Are you? Are you? Processing this and okay, we've got a wow Whoa. in the chat bar. You're my hero, hero the paid speaker. Paid speaker. <laughs> yes, I love this. It's just a game changer. So when we talk about taking the platform, most speakers are general speakers trying to fit the role of public speaker, trying to get that viral video, trying to get noticed, trying to have a best selling book, etc. That's why they're not making any money. <laughs> they never become paid speakers because they don't even know that category exists. Yeah. Now that you know it exists, I can help you become a paid speaker. This is just, if you've never heard this before, isn't it mind blowing? Yeah. Okay. You have a real choice. You can learn from the rich and successful. Where you are financially today is the result of what you've been doing for the last five or 10 years, right? If you're going to become a wealthy speaker, you have to do what the wealthy do, which is invest in yourself. The good news is, who knows what OPM or OBM is? Do you know, other Farida? People money. Other, other people, people, other money. people <laughs> money, other banks money, right? It takes money to make money, but it doesn't have to be your money. You can always get a sponsor or have a bank invest in you so that you can become wealthy. The difference between the rich and the poor, and I like to talk about this like we talked about financial independence. 
The rich, you have to understand this to get there. The rich mm -hmm. use the power of debt to make money. They invest in things that will increase in value, like education, real estate, the stock market. Oh my God, our stock market is going insane. It's had more, it's broken more records this past year than ever before. Now, the and poor- just before, before you move on, I just want to, to share something about this picture because you know, we saw university and people feel like, oh, they, they did also already their business school, their master's degree, and that's end. But university, it's your own coaching and training. I remember right. I, I, I took a debt to the bank to be able to fund my training. It was um, $25,000 at the time with a big coach. And because I knew I was valuable and I wouldn't be here today if I didn't use the OBM, other bank money, to <laughs> invest in myself. And exactly. it's not just going to business school, but having a great coach, a great mentor, it's also part of your education and it's going to change everything. It was a game changer for me. Yes. Thank you for saying that. And your education never stops. When you stop learning, you stop growing and you stop being successful. You know, even the biggest people like Warren Buffett, they're still learning. They're still reading books every week. They're still studying and they're looking at the market and they're looking at the internet and reading the news. There's no end. There's no finish line. Like Nike says, mm -hmm. there is no finish line, right? It's now the enough. poor use their power of debt for instant gratification. And I'm sure you all know people like this. They buy items that cost them money and these items decrease in value. Things like big screen TVs. Whenever I go to the big box store like Costco, people are loading up big screen TVs <laughs> like they're giving them away. And they're not worth what you paid for them two minutes after you drive off the lot. Neither is a new car. Um, technology, uh, you know, you buy an Apple Watch and then you get home and now there's second generation and third generation. You're like, oh my goodness, it's out of date by the time you get it home. And it's certainly not worth what you paid for. That's why you see used ones on sale all the time. Jewelry is another poor investment. Unless you're buying like four carat stones or bigger like investment quality jewelry, you're paying for the workmanship and they're not worth what you, well, they're worth a lot if someone gives you jewelry as a gift of love. That's priceless, but um, <laughs> it, not as an investment piece. Yeah, don't use your own money. <laughs> Vacations. I can't imagine a motivational speaker going on a trip and not doing an event while they're traveling. That's if why I'm going to Las Vegas, you exactly, know. Exactly. Listen, I want to go golf in Maui. If I can do an event in Maui, guess what? I get to golf and it's all, you know, I'm making money while I'm having fun. So this is the difference between the rich and the poor. And I'm sharing this with you because I want you to be rich. I want you to understand the difference. And it's time to invest in yourself and your, you know, things that will appreciate and value instead of things that depreciate. So now you're asking, but I'm really talented and unique. I have a great message. I'm really excited to share it. Well, and that's little Georgie, my late Great Shih Tzu. I had to fit her in here somewhere. Um, but the talent factor, when you look at this, earning 10000 per speech is not based on talent. And this is another area where I see speakers struggling. They're like, I'm a great speaker. Why am I struggling? Why am I not making the money I deserve and that I'm worth? Earning 10000 per speech is not based on talent. It's based on a presentation built on science and psychology. You want to learn how to speak to your audience's beliefs, paradigms, and subconscious minds. You know, Farida and I met at Experts Academy with Brendan Burchard. And, you know, when he gets that whole room up and crazy, it's because he's speaking to everybody's subconscious mind. And if, if we asked, you would say, oh, no, he's not. He's just telling me what I want to hear. But when it's that crazy and people are responding in a big event like that, that's why he's hitting those triggers. You're special. You can do this. You have a message to share. And it's not a lie. He's just doing it differently. And once you learn how to do this, oh my goodness, the change. When I discovered how the speaking industry really works, I took my new knowledge for what I call a test drive. I was invited to speak for free at NABO, National Association of Women Business Owners, for free at a Lowry's restaurant. And I spoke on the keys to financial freedom. I mentioned this earlier in the program, 20 minutes in front of 50 or 60 ladies, and I earned more than $6,000 in 20 minutes. 
I really felt like I had the keys to the kingdom because I'd struggled so much. And this was the first time I learned this, went out, spoke for 20 minutes, made $6,000. It's not hard. You can do this. It's so exciting. So how come most speakers don't understand how easy it is to stop speaking for free and start getting paid to speak? Why? Well, I think, and this is, you know, if you're in the National Speakers Association, forgive me, um, but I'm just about to bash them right now. Uh, mm -hmm. They report that more than 95% of their members earn less than $50,000 a year from speaking. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think that's a good living, at least not in this economy. They have a CSP designation. You can become a certified speaking professional. Now, to earn that, you have to show, you have to send check stubs and prove that you've earned more than $50,000 a year for at least five of the last 10 years, which also means you're a little older. <laughs> you know, one of my <laughs> friends that sends out press releases for me said when he sees, you know, somebody with so many designations, he thinks, okay, they've been at this forever. So it's good to distinguish yourself and have a designation, but a CSP takes, you know, five to 10 years to get. And at that point, you know, most people don't start speaking till they have something to share. So they're already 35 or 40 years old. And so it's not the greatest thing. Plus, the CSP designation leaves out industry experts and other really great speakers who have jobs or they're coaches or consultants. They don't earn exclusively from speaking. And this also includes most general speakers. Can you imagine creating an event where you could earn 10 times more than you invested? And that if even just one person pays to attend the event, you'll make a profit? It's possible. And I can show you how to do this too. This is just amazing. It doesn't take a lot of people to earn a lot of money. When you talk about getting started, simply decide you're going to become a paid speaker. Are you there yet? I think all of you are because of the feedback we've been getting so far. Yeah. Just you're going to become a paid speaker and stop struggling as a general speaker. Don't rely on fee-based gigs. If you get one, grab it, but don't rely on it. You want to build proper credibility and define yourself as an expert through your products, your marketing, your promotion, your videos, publicity, and great search engine optimization. And discover how to use science and psychology so you can start earning more right away every time you speak. Have you learned more so far than you thought you would? Oh my gosh, it's it's been an hour. I can't even believe that. There I am looking very surprised. And we're going to go live. Farida and I will be on camera when we're all done with this. Um, we already tested it out. We did it. <laughs> it's been the technology. But it's surprising to see some of how the speaking industry really works. Have you found this helpful so far? I think it's been an incredible hour. Would you like to know what else you can do to further your career and start getting paid to speak? Because we're not done yet. We're just, <laughs> I know it's been an hour, but I hope you'll stay with us and uh, join us live for some Q&A. If you want to know what else you can do to further your career and start getting paid to speak, type yes in the chat bar. So, Farida, you watch that chat bar for me, okay? Lori yes. says yes. Lori yes. from Chicago says yes. I want to know what I can do to start getting paid to speak. Okay. I have a program and I have to tell you, Charles Leon wrote me. Thank you. Uh, Charles Leon wrote, you are an absolute genius. I'm infatuated with these modules. Thank you so much for creating this program. It's truly amazing, magnificent. I want to be able to share it with others. And Sarah Rainey, who's an author, speaker, and travel concierge said, I now feel I have a roadmap to follow to achieve success as a paid speaker. Each module has a wealth of cutting edge information that I know I can use. I am so excited to present this to you. Insider Secrets, Keys to Six Figure Speaking. This is a seven week, not five years, 10 years. This is a seven week crash course that will change your speaking career forever and help you to monetize your speaking career. And I have four insane bonuses. Whoopsie. And <laughs> it'll include a CCS makeover. I can't give you a CCS designation until I know you know how to put yourself together for the greatest impact on stage. It's a comprehensive course 
where you'll discover what it takes to define yourself as an expert. Great headshot, how to make your topic a hot topic, how to get the right testimonials, have a responsive website, opt-in uh, products, uh, how to write a bio. You need more than one bio. And you'll discover all the ways to tell the world you're an expert from press releases to Vimeo, collaborations, publicity, uh, blogs, videos, podcasts, books, YouTube videos. And I'm going to share techniques for creating dramatically different presentations. Now, I know in a webinar, I kind of have to have a few bullet points here and there. But um, that's not how I present when I'm speaking. This is what my presentations look like when I speak. And I share anecdotes and it engages right brain, left brain thinking. It's fantastic. Plus, you'll discover the game-changing secrets of speaking directly to your audience's subconscious mind. So let's look at these bonuses. Insane bonus number one, you'll get a two-year, minimum two-year listing on the Las Vegas Convention Speakers Bureau in the convention capital of North America. Now, I used to offer this when I started because I paid to be on bureaus when I started. It was a another kind of catch-22 where you couldn't get listed on a bureau unless you were already on a bureau. So I paid about $750 a year to be listed on a Speakers Bureau that specialized in representing women. So I feel like this is a at least a $1,500 value. And if you get booked for a gig, you know, it more than pays for itself. You'll be on my website and on my radar. Remember I said when I get an opportunity to book a speaker, the first place I look is on my own website. So this is crazy. This is the new website. If you haven't looked at it yet, you it's in the chat bar. You can see up there. It's LVCS. Farida, will you write in the URL in yes. the chat bar for me? LVCSB.com. Check it out where you see this little button over here that says get access. Now you'll actually have a pop-up where you can opt in and get a, a um, one sheet, a PDF on how to work with the Bureau, okay? Insane bonus number two, and this is just so crazy. I have created the certified convention speaker designation. Imagine you could have a CCS after your name and you can display the certified convention speaker medallion on your website, after your name, I have beautiful little video clips that go, it's on my Facebook page actually, that says, you know, that I put on the back of everybody's video on the website so that they know they can get booked through the LVCSB. I'm the only one offering the certified convention speaker designation. When you talk about wanting to really define yourself as an expert in your field, these meeting planners come to me, they're so gun shy. They're so reluctant to commit to a speaker because they've been burned before. They've looked at other speakers' websites. They've looked at other speakers' videos and their demo videos. And, and they're still scared to book a speaker because they don't want the speaker to be a dud. So I can hedge their bets and tell them, listen, she's a certified convention speaker. They have to jump through a lot of hoops to earn this designation. And I personally train you. So that's tremendous value and the meeting planners appreciate it. In fact, when I redid the website, I've already had contacts from people who wanted to book certified convention speakers. This is kind of priceless. Yes, I can't put a, I can't put a price on my CCS next to my name. Yes, <laughs> I'm super excited. Wonderful. This is a this is a screenshot of that page on the lvcsb.com website. When you go over to book a speaker, the second menu button at the top, this drops down certified convention speakers. Of course, I'm at the top of the page. I'm a speaker with my little you'll see how it is with the little uh, medallion there. And it's my description of my my expertise, who I am, what I do, my speaking fee. And then there's my demo reel and you get that certified convention speaker. And what this is. You know, I told you it's it's so much about marketing and branding. I can now offer something else. My whole competition was the internet before. Now the LVCSB has this wonderful CCS designation that I can share with you. You can become a certified convention speaker. It gives the bureau something to offer that no other bureau has. And as a speaker, it gives you something to offer that no other speaker has other than my speaker's on the LVCSB website. So this is just really priceless. It's just marketing gold. There's more. <laughs> I'm blowing my own mind here. Uh, insane bonus number three, 
I'll share mind blowing information from my millionaire speaker boot camp. This is what I was telling you about where you'll learn to use science and psychology to see how easy it is to earn 5,000, 10,000 or more in one day as a speaker. This is so solid. Now, I used to sell this for $2,497 and it was a three day program. And I had, I actually did it at my home. I had people come to my home. I did it in meeting rooms sometimes too. But sometimes I would just open up my home and have a few people over here and we would do that. You know, I have five people. It's $10,000 for a, or 12, <laughs> do the math, Robin, $12,500 for two days in my home, two and a half days. Um, so I will share this information on how you can use science and psychology to increase your sales as a speaker. Insane bonus number four. This is crazy. Insider Secrets to Publishing. You'll meet a top literary agent who will share insights and personal recommendations to help you achieve publishing success. I would have given anything to have time with a literary agent and hear what they deal with, what they're wanting in their authors. And it's changing so fast as self, you know, um, my web designer wrote a book. He does several different things and he wrote a book he used CreateSpace and Amazon Advantage. And because of social media and his uh, tribe of people who supported him, his book hit number one international status on Amazon before it was released. It's no longer struggling to get a publisher to buy your book. There's so many secrets. We, t we break down self-publishing versus um, print on demand versus selling your work to a, to a publisher. And this publisher, this literary agent, just had a top, she did a six figure book deal on a book that she did. It's a top seller and it's actually on Amazon. It's called Member of the Family. It's a biopic on Charles Manson, the serial killer, or the mass murderer. I'm sorry, the mass murderer. And she got a six figure deal on that. She knows what she's talking about. She's published 11 books, self published, sold some to uh, uh, major publishers like Random House and Harper Collins. And so, she really knows what she's talking about. We have an amazing information packed webinar uh, segment for you with that. It's crazy. You'll also meet two more guest experts, an expert speaker marketer who will share the secrets for getting booked for traditional paid gigs, how to find the people who will book you and how to contact them. And the developer of wisdomrobot.com, which is your key to product creation and income automation where you can earn money while you sleep. You'll discover how to earn high perpetual income online like this, like this webinar that we're doing today that can run evergreen for you 24 seven while you sleep. And I'm telling you, if I did this, you can do it. I, I know that's the third time I've said it. And I'll tell you what, the hardest thing I had was integrating a uh, webinar jam with my YouTube channel. It took me about two hours and they even say, Andy Jenkins at webinar jam says, okay, the good news is you only have to do this once. And it's true because it was a little hard and it was late at night when I was doing it. But they now have Jamcast, so it's e easier than ever before. But I'll show you how you can do online courses and get published. And this is just so rich with so much information. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Insane bonus number five. If you buy Insider Secrets in the next 48 hours, you'll get a special one-on-one -on -one private strategy session with me. Now imagine you're done with the course, the other seven, seven segments, and I will personally help you develop your topic into a killer branded keynote. I'll review your products, your PowerPoints, your manuscript, your website, whatever you're working on, whatever you need help with at that time. And we'll do it on Zoom and we'll record it and you'll be able to go back and look it over. And this is one of the things, one of the, testimonials that I hear from everyone who's taken the course so far is they can't believe how accessible I am. And I know this won't last forever. I know that right now I make the time to uh, answer all the calls. Probably six months from now, I, I won't have the time to do this, but you know, this is now. So in the present moment, um, this is really your chance to discover my insider secrets. Thank you, Austin. Yes, it's it's just crazy. This is your chance to discover my insider secrets and get started right away. And I'm going to show you a buy now button pretty soon. And if you click that buy now button during this webinar, you'll also get three monthly group coaching sessions of $591 value. They're normally $197 a month for a group coaching call, um, one a month. 
imagine you finish all this, you want that extra support as you move forward and you start really changing the way you present and the way you market and brand yourself. So this is a tremendous added value. All this and a CCS designation and a listing on lvcsb.com. I offer a 100% unconditional money back guarantee. Remember too that I do hire speakers. Meeting planners count on me to book speakers. So you'll get, this is what you'll get in the course. And it's in your Insider Secrets Action Guide as well on the last few pages. Um, seven game-changing modules, including everything you need to become a paid speaker and gain financial freedom. Developing your unique message and brand, how to create explosive products that'll make such a difference, how to create a speaker demo video that will get you booked. Oh my gosh, I see so many bad demo videos and that's not what I'm looking for. That's not what meeting planners are looking for. How to create the irresistible offer. The six elements you have to have on your speaking website and how to, how to determine your speaking fee and when to raise it and how to earn thousands every time you speak. And again, there's a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee, so you really have nothing to lose. Here's what you'll get. This is just a little recap of everything you're going to get. You're going to get the Insider Secrets, Keys to Six-Figure Speaking, the easy online course, but this isn't what, what I'm offering it for today, okay? You'll get a listing on the lvcsb.com website worth $1,500. You'll become a certified convention speaker exclusive only for LVCSB speakers, absolutely priceless. You'll get my Millionaire Speaker Bootcamp information that will change immediately how you see yourself and how you project yourself worth $2,497. You'll get insider secrets to publishing. When you start understanding how the publishing industry works, that's priceless as well. You'll have access to two very special guest experts, also priceless value, a private one-on-one -on -one strategy session with me if you sign up today, and the webinar bonus three-month group coaching session. This is total value of more than $10,085 plus the priceless bonuses, but that's not what it is today. Insider Secrets, Keys to Six Figure Speaking. I'm gonna confess, I originally, this is a, I originally had this as a $4,997 package price. I've sold it for $34.97 last year when I first launched it. Then I went ahead and did a special offer for $24.97. And I had several takers and I help them on the phone all the time and I work with them and they're very happy with the program. That's where I got some of these testimonials from. But today, if you buy in the next 24 hours, you will really save. It's just $19.97 for the, everything that I just mentioned. I also have an easy payment plan available, just four payments of $5.77 each. And I'm telling you, you can earn more from this. Let me go ahead and post the buy now button here. Um, there we go. You'll earn more than this the very first time you speak after taking insider secrets. And remember, there's a 30 day money back guarantee, which means you really have nothing to lose. And I'd love to help you. I get so tired of hearing from speakers who are struggling because I know they don't have to. So that's the price, 1997. If you're interested and you wanna sign up and take charge today, you can get started right away. And in just eight exciting weeks, you'll know how to get paid to speak. You can always email me if you have questions, robin at lvcsb.com. Space is limited now, especially because I do so much one-on-one -on -one support and you can get started right away. So let me tell you what's gonna happen if you click that buy now button. It'll take you to this sales page and you see the course right there and there's a big add to cart button in yellow there and you just click add to cart. It'll take you to a page where you fill out your forms and pay for the course. You decide if you want payments or, or um, go ahead and pay all at once or put it on a credit card. Use OPM, right? And you'll get this confirmation email that you paid for the course. And then you'll be able to access your content. You see that URL in the middle. So you'll get an email like this every week 
for seven weeks about your content and it'll be like, view your new content. Module five is now available, Insider Secrets to Publishing. And so each week you'll get an email like this. It's so easy and you can go back and reconnect and access anything you've seen already as often as you want. It won't go away. So this is your chance. You know, I know what it takes to earn six figures as a speaker. You'll finally understand how the industry works so you can make it work for you. You'll have the knowledge and support you need from me and you'll have Farida too, right Farida? You've accomplished more than most speakers have. So you'll be able to help your people too. They can call you or email you if they have questions, right? And how to tell all that to the French market. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's time to stop struggling or paying for programs that don't work. I, I really want to know. I know it was on the action guide to know if, if many of you have paid a lot of money for other programs that didn't work because it just breaks my heart to see that. So you can earn the LVCSB's exclusive certified convention speaker designation, get listed on the LVCSB in the convention capital of North America and discover how to earn thousands every time you speak and you can start right now. You'll get your first lesson as soon as you sign up. Hey, there we are again. Here's the, here's the challenge. You know, you could possibly, you may figure out the speaking industry on your own. I did in spite of asking for help and taking courses, but it took me many years, tens of thousands of dollars and running a speakers bureau to figure it all out, to really understand how it went. Why would you put yourself through all of that when you could be on your way starting today and earn your CCS and get listed on the Bureau in just eight weeks? I have bonuses designed to help you with a complete comprehensive speaker strategy. It's a limited, highly discounted price today to make your decision super easy. It's absolutely the lowest price I've offered this course at because of Farida because I want your people to be able to take this information and really succeed. Farida said, what's the very best you can do, Robin, right? And so we wanted to make it as affordable as possible for everybody. And you have an unconditional money back guarantee so you can sign up with confidence. As soon as you sign up, you'll get your first lesson and you'll immediately start to see all the ways you can monetize your message. The first lesson is all the costly mistakes that you can avoid. I think I talk about the top 10 mistakes, but I think there's 15 in there, right? Because we talk about over delivering. Most speakers don't over deliver. So I wanted to make sure you got that. It starts out really easy and then it gets very intense with tremendous information. You can start creating exciting new products. We'll get your wheels turning. You can run them past me, say, Robin, I'm thinking of doing this or that. I will email you back within 24 hours and let you know what I think and maybe guide you a little bit how I think you can make it more profitable. So I'll help you earn more. You'll be able to start developing your own six-figure speaker strategy, the products that will help you get there, the science and psychology. This special offer is only available for the next 24 hours. You see the little clock ticking down there. This is your chance to claim a better future for yourself today. So thank you for joining us. We're gonna go live. I look forward to seeing you inside the course. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out of this. And Farida, will you turn on your camera? Hey, hey there we are. <laughs> oh my awesome. goodness. I need some vitamin water. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, okay, That's I'm awesome. gonna take down the buy now button so we can have the chat bar. So if anybody has any questions, you can ask in the chat bar, but if you wanna click, click real fast. Great. Okay. And Farida, what I recommend is that you send out an email as soon as we're done with your link that I sent you so they can still sign up for the course. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Lori wrote, Farida, you rock. I look forward to working with you as soon as I'm ready. I love Definitely. the lineup. Definitely. It's going to be awesome, Lori. Let me see here. Lori wrote, I have to admit I already have this product and it's been so helpful. Robin gave me incredible insight, which caused me to go back and I went through the course the second time. I feel so supported with training and the marketing aspect that it allows me to focus on my important message to bring out into the world. Thank you so much, Robin. You're welcome very much, Lori. I'm going to rock this world because of all the support I'm receiving. In fact, I hopped on this webinar for your additional knowledge. Thanks again. Oh my goodness, I'm so humbled. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
I really appreciate that. And Farida, so sweet. Who has a question for either of us? Do you like my meadow behind me? Isn't that lovely? Yeah, I was checking that actually. <laughs> Listen, this is one of the things I share. Have you have you ever had a, a webinar with someone or a meeting with someone who like they have their pants hanging on the doorknob in the background? It's just like they you're like, did you know you were gonna be on camera today? Obviously not. You know, not or worse yet, their underwear yeah. hanging on the door. I've seen that too. You know, it, when you watch on TV, on the news channels, they usually are in front of a nice bookcase or something that makes them look educated and smart. We want to do that. You want to always make sure you have a nice background for your people to look mm. at and nothing that's distracting. So any questions? Any if not, questions? we're going to sign off. Gosh, we went. Here we go. I'm so transparent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>